General Motors out with two new recalls, now a total of nearly 5 million vehicles suspected of trouble. And it comes just days now before the new CEO of GM answers tough questions in Washington. ABC's chief business correspondent Rebecca Jarvis on this again tonight. More troubles for GM tonight, issuing another round of recalls on some 2013 and 2014 Chevy Cruises because of a problem with the axle that may fracture and separate during normal driving. Almost 500,000 trucks for problems with the transmission that could cause fires and expanding the ignition switch recall to an additional 971,000 cars from newer model years, including 2008 to 2011, because the same faulty switches in older cars may have found their way into newer cars during repairs. The expanded recall coming just days after CEO Mary Barra, who took over at GM in January, issued this apology to customers. And I can commit to you, we will put all those processes and learnings in place to make sure this never happens again. Pledging to conduct her own investigation into why GM took more than a decade to recall 1.6 million cars with ignition switch problems linked to at least 13 deaths. GM facing claims it misled some grieving family members about the potentially deadly flaw. They only told us that they looked at the vehicle for any flaw and told us that they found nothing. And now Congress and the federal government have launched investigations into GM's handling of the ignition switch recall and class action lawsuits are mounting. Such heartache for all those families. Rebecca's been covering this from the start, and you were saying these new recalls, GM says, are very different? Very different because there are no known deaths linked to these new recalls, but GM telling us tonight they're doing this out of an abundance of caution, especially with the CEO, Mary Barr, expected to testify before Congress for the first time next week. Yes, yeah, so many eyes on her. Rebecca, thank you.